Hi there, it's Stephen Bishop again with Life's a Bish. And today's uh, guest is the incredible Jim Wilson here, who um, tours with me normally. Uh, he plays keyboard and I sing and play guitar, of course. Uh, Jim is also an artist in his own right. Uh, he's got many albums, uh, including Northern Seascape and his new album, uh, Remembrance. And uh, he's, he's a very talented guy. And uh, you, you make me cry, Steve. You make me <laughs> cry. These kind of words. Billboard charts. And we, mention the Billboard charts. Yeah, and, the, <laughs> and he's doing really great on the Billboard charts. Um, we've actually been good pals for many years, so it's so great you to say. Yeah, right. So it's good to have him here, and we're gonna great talk to about this song. Um, it's called Second Avenue. It's uh, by Tim Moore. And uh, he's, I think, playing the piano. He, I, I did an interview with uh, Tim yesterday, and uh, he, we were talking about this song, uh, Second Avenue, and he said that it was inspired by uh, this Chopin uh, soliloquy thing. Hmm. Uh, and uh, so I guess it's some of his piano playing is Ch Chopin related. So let's start. Um, with uh, Second Avenue, one of my favorite songs, and I hope. Oh you're... dear God! Um, when I heard that this is the one you wanted to do, I was like, Oh God, yes! Because you and I have actually talked about this song before, and it's got one of my favorite lines of all time in it, and I know it is yours. Yeah, let's don't say it yet. Don't say it yet. Okay, here we go. Since we can no longer make it good I found a new place to live my life It's really no place at all Just a hole in the wall, you see You know, one of the things I like about this song is he has these inner rhymes uh, just like that. No place it, at all. There's no in place the wall. at all, just a hole in the wall. Right. Uh, in the middle of the verse, which is kind of rare. I don't mm -hmm. really hear that Internal, too much. Yeah. And it's just really cool. I really like it. It's cold and dusty, but I let it be. Living here without you. On Second Avenue. I think Garfunkel recorded this too. Do, uh, Garfunkel, as in. Art Garfunkel. Oh, oh that, that, yeah. Not Bob Garfunkel. No, Bob, yeah, Bob Garfunkel. <laughs> He's a great car mechanic in Studio City. Yeah, old one. Bob. Uh, no, this is... Uh, yeah, no, it's... Recorded by Art, and he did a good job on it, but I have to say I, I really like Tim's version more. It's just more personal or something. I don't know. You worked with... Um, did you work with Art Garfunkel as far as... Uh, or no, you... that was a sad story, to tell you the um, truth. Because um, Artie and I had... Our ver two versions of Second Avenue out at the same time, so we wound up in a cover battle. Oh. Um, so Artie got charted. I think Second Avenue got up into the low fifties. Artie stopped at thirty-five because Columbia and Warner Brothers went head to head. Their promotion departments got all their egos got involved in this cover battle. Oh wow! And when David Geffen signed me. Uh, he knew he was headed into a cover battle because Columbia was going to release um, Artie's version. And I remember David just saying to me, he said, I hate cover battles. And I just didn't know what I was getting into because I think I had the chance um, to say something to Artie. I, we bumped into each other. I had never met him. He was standing near the corner of 6th Avenue and 56th Street, I think it was. Uh, I was just leaving Patelson's where you bought all your all your music and your staff paper and stuff in your Carnegie Hall. And I walked down the street and there's Art Garfunkel. And I did something really stupid. I sort of walked up to him. I said, well, congratulations on your hit. And he looked at me and he said, I don't think either one of us are going to have a hit. And at that point, I should have said, well, Artie, I'm just getting started. Is there any way you can pull your, your single? And I'm not sure whether he could have. Um, but that that's a replay i replay a lot um an opportunity that was missed but i just wasn't socially or business smart enough to realize that i was confident that my version was better and paul simon had told me that my version was better so i just figured that i would 
um, dominate. But what happened was half the country went to Artie, half of the radio stations in the country uh, went to Artie and half of them went to me. And um, we knocked each other out of top five, probably or top 10. It's beautiful and it's so sincere and just, you can tell it's about a real thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, it really, uh, it's, it's home. And since our stars took different paths, I guess I won't be shaving in your looking glass. Guess my old friendly grin. There's a lot of false rhymes in this song, but it seems to work, you know. Paths, since our stars took different paths, I won't be shaving in your looking glass. Glass doesn't really. But it works, man. It's glass works. works with glass. glass but we're not going to talk and about that. And that line, um, since our stars took different paths, I love so much because it's such a great way to say, you know. We parted. Yeah, it didn't work out, you know. Yeah, beautiful. Must have started to dim somehow. And I certainly don't need it now. Still, I keep smiling too. On Second Avenue. He told me that that Paul Simon didn't like this this uh, second line here, but uh, he he knew Paul Simon, and um, I think it's good. Uh, they're on the third floor landing, mm. um, which is you know descriptive. I can still see you standing. They're on the third floor landing. Day you visited, we hardly said a word. That's a beautiful line, don't you? Was it? The day uh, we visited and we hardly said a word. Yeah. That really seems like a breakup, doesn't it? Well, it paints the picture, you know? And if I may, Stephen, just a little bit of songwriting advice. You notice that he uses a lot of imagery. Just uh, as a songwriter, you might want to consider, you know? Oh, yeah. Don't. Aren't I the guy who said, puts on Sinatra and starts to cry? I think oh. I was that guy. A living legend right here. What an honor to play with you. Thank you. All these Thank years. you. Really cool. <laughs> yeah. Outside it was raining. You said you couldn't be staying. You went back to your flowers and your birds. That's kind of an odd line, you know. Back to your flowers and you your went, birds. Yeah, you went back to your flowers and your birds. Yeah, birds yeah. more than one bird. What's that mean? She's she's, she's uh, into birds. What can I say, man? <laughs> it's uh, Tippy Hedren is who he's talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. Hedren. Is she the one who did the outfit Hitchcock? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's it's very specific. But went back to your flowers and your birds, and it tells us about her. You know, it's how can you tell? as much as you possibly can about this person without going into too much details. You know, she's into those aesthetic things, right? The flowers and the birds. That's it. Uh, not necessarily in that order. No longer see the light The way we did when we kissed that night Then all the things that we felt Must eventually melt and fade Like the frost on my window pane where I wrote I am you on Second Avenue. Is that a killer line? That is the line. Well, it, it, he didn't. He wrote it on the, fro on right. the frost. Right. But he didn't say I love you. Yeah. He put I, I am, am you. you. I'm oh. not sure what that what he meant by that. But that's the beauty of it. Is that incredible? Is that line. it? Just kind of. It's not too on the nose. It's just. It's. It's big, it's universal, I am you, you know. That just slays me, and um, me the too. beauty of that, if I may, just for a second, because this is this song is kind of in a family of songs that I, I grouped together. Separate Lives is kind of in there too, That, um, but also Walk Away Renee, and what's the one by Michael McDonald that we talk about? Uh, I Can Let Go Now? Oh, that's an amazing but, song. But that, that uh, a parting song, a heartbreak song, a breakup song, that has this nobility to it, and it's bigger, and it's it's not saying you're wrong. You know, it's we're just not seeing things the same way. And but uh, but that image, uh, walk away, Renee does kind of this same thing of yeah. uh, 
your name and mine inside a heart on a wall still finds a way to haunt me, though they're so small. In other words, yeah. just you just see this thing, and you see the whole movie just from these little words. And but uh, if, uh, your frost on the window pane, everything must. What is it? Say the line again. Uh, like the frost, on, uh, and then all the things what we felt must eventually melt and fade. Like the frost on my window pane, where I wrote "I am you" on Second Avenue. Just, just classic, man. Yeah, That's, it really is good. Oh, man. So good. Just so powerful, man. Um, let's see. I'm trying to say, man. She likes she's, she's 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 a nice chick, man. She <laughs> likes the flowers. She, she likes flowers. She likes birds. See the light, the way we did when we kissed that night. Then all the things that we felt must eventually melt and fade, like the frost on my window. Yeah, there's that inner rhyme again. The inner rhyme, but also the great modulation that he does. I just want to give him props for that, oh, that yeah. great modulation. It's just like a, a two five into a different key and then a two five back into a original key and just it's but it doesn't feel contrived. It just uh, no, it's, it's really it's works. Amazing, yeah. Where I wrote I am you on second I I think he played the piano on it. Uh, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's a beautiful piano part yeah. too. It's a beautiful song. That's Second Avenue by Tim Moore. It's such an incredible song. Uh, and and his little known sequel, Third Avenue. Unfortunately, it never really took off. <laughs> but no, it's it's an amazing, amazing song. What an honor to to sit here and talk oh, about Oh yeah, it's an amazing song. Thanks for joining me on this Life's a Bish podcast and uh, thanks to Jim Wilson. Thank you for having me. It's really no place at all Just a hole in the wall you see It's cold and dusty but I let it be Living here without you On 2nd Avenue